Preliminary Water Treatment Most lakes and reservoirs are not free of logs, tree limbs, sticks, gravel, sand and rocks, weeds, leaves and trash. If not removed, this will cause problems in the treatment plants, pumps and equipment. The best way to protect the plant is screening. Bar screens are made of straight steel bars at the intake of the plant. Depending on the spacing of the horizontal bars will rank the size. Wire mesh screens are woven stainless steel material and the opening of the fabric is narrow. Both require manual cleaning. Mechanical bar screens vary in size and use some type of raking mechanism that travels horizontally down the bars to scrape the debris off. The type of screening used depends on the raw water and the size of intake. Once the water passes the bar screens, sand and gravel are still present. This will damage plant equipment and pipes. This is generally done with clarifiers shaped rectangular or round. Sedimentation basins are also used after the flocculation process. Let's first look at the components of a rectangular clarifier. Most are designed with scrapers on the bottom to move the settled sludge to one or more hoppers at the influent end of the tank. It could have a screw conveyor or traveling bridge used to collect the sludge. The most common is a chain and flight collector. Most designs will have baffles to prevent short circuiting and scum from entering the affluent. The following information is good to know for a certification examination. The most important thing to consider is the sludge and scum collection mechanism, the flights and chains. They move the settled sludge to the hopper in the clarifier for return and they also remove the scum from the surface of the clarifier. The flights are usually wood or non-metallic flights mounted on parallel chains. The motor shaft is connected through a gear reducer to a shaft which turns the drive chain. The drive chain turns the drive sprockets and the head shafts. The shafts can be located overhead or below. Some clarifiers may not have scum removal equipment, so the configuration of the shaft may vary. As the flights travel across the bottom of the clarifier, wearing shoes are used to protect the flights. The shoes are usually metal and travel across a metal track. To prevent damage due to overloads, a shear pin is used. The shear pin holds the gear solidly on the shaft so that no slippage occurs. Remember that the gear moves the drive chain. If a heavy load is put on the sludge collector system, then the shear pin should break. This means that the gear would simply slide around the shaft and movement of the drive chain would stop. In some circular or square tanks, rotating scrapers are used. The most common type has a center pier or column. The major mechanical parts of the clarifier are the drive unit, the sludge collector mechanism, and the scum removal system.